Mm, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my own fight war. Let's play as the United States of America. And in this episode we are freeing Pennsylvania f from the, the heel of the Iroquois, uh, the Iroquois menace. Uh, we've got plenty of troops, lots of cavalry. We're going to try and chase down and kill as many as we can. Because we need to make sure that we start uh, gaining a bit of the initiative in the north. Uh, one of these armies I would like to expand to be uh, more of a full strength army and begin, well ideally both of them, and they both begin uh, offensive action against the Iroquois from the north because we've started it against the Cherokee in the south. And that is quite delightful. Uh, it's very much, yeah, yeah we, we need to stabilise our position on the continent. No ifs, ands, or but. Put all of our strong infantry units together, put all of our weak infantry units together. Uh, let's screw power. Have on the flanks, including the general. Let's go get him. Right here. Sorry, just a second, everyone. Uh, okay. The reinforcements are here. Can speed up the time. A bing pop. Everyone's fairly close together. Have a look at the Minutemen. I'm pretty sure they're just going to be. Yeah. They, they look slightly different. is make them break. Make them break so we can slaughter them. So these, these guys charge this large bow unit. shifting our balance of effort. So if you guys can annihilate this bow unit, I can send one of you off to go chase down the native unit. Okay, I might get my general to start chasing them down, let my light cavalry keep attacking. Nope, chase down those, get those bowmen. They've turned around to start fighting, but they have now broken. Good. We have killed their general. Get them all. Leave none alive. Put the militia in against the bowmen. Yeah, there we go. Everyone out. Let's continue ceasefire. Yeah, we definitely want to make sure we annihilate these units. I know shattered means they should be gone, but I don't trust it. I'm sure in the past I've, I've experimented and still found shattered units on the battlefield. 18 guys. Let's take them out. Four, three. 
two, one, zero. Help them get the medicine men. Five men left on these bowmen. Two men left. I'm not sure where the other. Oh, oh, just the one. Go get him. Excellent. These two units both converge on the medicine men. You've killed your guys as well. Everybody converge on this last unit of medicine men. I don't think we're going to get them. We're going to get them most of the way. Too late. Either way, that was a good, good, good hit. Nearly all destroyed. So maintain position near the city, but we have now free the city. We can we are continuing our trade routes have been opened again. Six thousand. Okay. So Daniel okay, first of all, John Sullivan continued the to advance up towards Chicasa, put their homeland under under threat. Nathaniel Green, attack Take this individual battle. unit near Sw the Swainsboro Plantations. And we're going to fight it manually just to make sure we minimise losses of our troops. And then next turn, Nathaniel Green is going to start, uh, well, we're going to start bulking out our army again. I want to raise Nathaniel Green into a, f into a full army. Well, relatively full army. More troops than they've got now, that's for darn sure. Because right now they've got a pretty awesome, awesome army at the minute. Most of it's not going to get used. I'm only using a unit of infantry. Although to be fair, I should use my artillery. But mainly, I just want to try and uh, chip away at them so I can use my cavalry to chase them down and kill them. Although my, my foot artillery can probably just shoot from here. Unlimber the horse artillery. That's going to get them to engage. Alright, we'll we got a little pop guns over the line. Chase them down. Kill them. Just kill them all. Teach them what it means. This is see they, they should never have got involved, although they have spread out rather nicely, so that's gonna make them very difficult to kill. Although we have a lot of cavalry. It's only three guys and they're all over here now. Excellent. The plantation has been secured with zero losses and the total destruction of the enemy. So yeah, you're gonna put you're gonna attack Chikasa and effectively um just sit here and draw the enemy in. Uh they're gonna keep throwing forces in to try and defend, destroy this army. You're gonna try and push up to here. Onward. To get into a position to threaten Teleco. You're going to stay where you are. Albany's going to stay where they are. Everyone, these guys are just going to hold. But I want to raise you into a proper army. Oh, well, ultimately, I want to raise Albany into a proper army and move on to Cayuga. Then this army can smash into Niagara. That would be the intent. Diamond formation. No, sir. I would like. Darker shot. Or well, actually, I might like Wealth of Nations. Mo money, please. And then at some point, ultimately, I need to demolish. Well, this will need demolishing. It's effectively... I'm not getting any money for it now. I'm going to demolish it because I need to rebuild this. Oh, no, actually, no, no, no. No, I don't have to. Dover is growing. It'll take a long time. 
but Dover is growing. Okay, let's hit N10. Let, uh, let everything kick on. At least we're going to get six lovely grand in this turn. Then once we've secured, once we've destroyed those two, those, those two factions, we can start looking at Quebec and uh, France and begin expanding our control over the continental shelf and starting to build the United States Navy. But let's see if we get uh, screwed over by any of our other compadres. Cherokee, opportunity to intercept. I think it's got to be yes. Force them to attack me, throw them back. Lots of individual armies coming in from all sorts of areas, um, but largely we should be okay. They're not coming in as one mass of native troops, which is generally their most dangerous way of attacking. They kind of if it's that initial swarm, the initial wave, if you can deal with that wave, then you're usually on to a winner. Okay, so let's do this smartly. So we need to have some troops facing forward. I'm going to deploy two units of foot artillery because I'm going to assume that some of them at least are going to come in from a predictable direction. So you guys a bit of a flexible reserve. Foot artillery deployed, howitzers just deployed behind the line. Horse artillery will stay limbered up. It's a bit of a loose end. Okay, here they go. <laughs> Grab the lances. Continental Marines move up. Light infantry form up. Okay, that's where all their cavalry is coming from, the right. Ah, oh, they can't engage. But these native lancers, their force has been broken. Bring my general up. Canister shot. Medicine man coming in. Go send my general in. all my other units need to warriors get in my general may fall keep my general attacking the warrior side to try to shatter them and go on into the medicine men okay cast to shot the musket men new men cast to shot yep there he goes Cavalry charge the bowmen. 
General staff charge them as well. Everybody else. And the Marines. One of my Marine units are been obliterated. Which one hit them? Okay, my howitzers I want to keep blinking at the keep blinking at enemy cavalry. Start to knock a few off their horses. Chief's bodyguard's probably gonna break, yeah there they go. Engage tribal gunners. You better engage them. Form square. Throw in the marines. Gunners, continue to man your guns. to the musket men. Get out of position. The marines back. Gunners are still on their guns. Engage the bowmen. There goes enemy infantry there routing. Light infantry doesn't really have much of a purpose at the moment. Good volley into the medicine men, native warriors, the birds, long riflemen, not sure what to do with. My light infantry up here to help engage the bowmen, get my cavalry over here. Gunners blast the bowmen. Hunt Marines, get in here. Howitzers engage. The bow units, or the, yeah, these bow units over here. Steam burn to the back of those bowmen that are charging in. Strain in the back of them. That's them done. Enemy bowmen for the chance to uh, get involved in the, in the fight. Form up the line again. Cavalry charge the native bowmen. Got artillery just run away. Militia get involved in the fight. Now it says engage. Gunners is fire. Yeah, looks like that's an enemy you're out, alright. There we go. Excellent interception. It did a lot of damage to us, um, but I think it did more irreversible damage to them. Yeah, 2,000 native soldiers are no longer on the field of battle. And those that are, are heavily damaged. And they're not actually in a position to uh, defend their capital either. <laughs> Here come the French. They sent some easy meat. So rather than helping me before now, they've gone, actually, now we can jump in and 
try and secure some gains. Ah, you <laughs> They think they're going to try and raid our uh, port, but I don't think that's going to happen. No, sir. I'm not going to let them get away with that. Yeah, the Ottomans have still got a fairly undeveloped empire for the time being. Swedish fleet still with a dominating position at the entrance to the Baltic there. 7,400. So first of all, you... Just kill them. Don't let them get away with that nonsense. Yes, sir. It's the new man, Planesh. See, the objective isn't to necessarily to win in the north, it's to hold. Make ready. Although we could advance on Cayuga, but there does leave a bit of a gap near Philadelphia. Let's repair the plantation. Ready for order. Recruit a new general from our marine forces. Granville Stapleton, 34, confident general. Soldier from birth, a happy drink and steady under fire. Good man. Gonna almost suck up out all of our money. Um, I could attack, but I'm going to... Settlement under sea. I suppose I should attack, really, otherwise I'm just gonna get um, jumped by other forces. Let's move up. Immediately! Let's replenish to that. Target under siege, sir. Let's attack Chikasa. Take their capital, deprive them of that income. And then next turn we'll jump on their other territory and take that. Well, maybe not immediately, but we will. And then that will be the end of the Cherokee Empire. And I want to spend a good amount of time upgrading our economy. All of my infantry stand shoulder to shoulder in the line. Advance as one force, decrying the enemy. Put artillery boy over here. Force artillery can be a bit more mobile. The cavalry force. Position. The artillery is doing excellent work. Let's push up aggressively. Try to take the high ground. Arm tries when arm tries when arm tries when garrison bows. I suppose really where we want to get to is here. So then at least we'll get there in reasonable time to form up and use our... Actually put, put some volleys into them. Maybe not even that far actually. the flanks up. There we go. They can start positioning. Looking to engage the bowmen. Content on Marines, there's only a handful of you, but fire! Put as much fire, as much fire onto them as you can. Provincial cavalry go after the armed tribesmen. Make sure my horse artillery is on the move. My native warriors deploy over on the right. Let's see if we can just. Uh, Couple of my guys died from a secondary. It's collateral damage. They've been shattered, which is great. 
Oh, there's someone hidden through here. Charge in. All my howitzers engage the garrison line. Yep, everybody shattered. Warm up the cavalry line. Hey, my natives and their natives. Mine have natty blue coats. <laughs> Charge the major bowmen. They're all my artillery. There we go. Shattered. Be all my artillery. Cease fire. Everybody except my general. Push forward to smack that bow unit. Because this is actually. I like this general. I'm attached to him. Let's not make him die too easily. Now he's going to get involved. The deliver. A devastating counter charge. There we go. An excellent job. Oh, I don't like them not too worse than the last for my general. There we go. Excellent. Excellent job. Heroic victory. Cherokee. Cherokee capital is taken. And I think I might just carry on. Demolish this government building. So if I leave now, they hate me. But I think if I attack you, bring in some reinforcements for sure. But take Teleco as well. All of these Cherokee units disappear. And I think a lot of the penalties for public order disappear as well. Because they figure, you know what? The old empire that we were a part of, they're not here anymore. So let's just lean in, join the USA. Good old USA. We're going to bring you industry and infrastructure and all sorts of good stuff. And we're going to do effectively a very similar thing. Even though you don't really want to put light infantry and all these weak units in the line, we're going to do it anyway. So there is an enemy cavalry force coming in from somewhere to be aware of. And all my artillery back here. Excellent. So the enemy cavalry reinforcements coming in from somewhere we don't have to worry about themselves so much. All my artillery is just absolutely devastating. Yeah, the lance unit plus one infantry unit. The Arben tribesmen, they have to charge. If they want to get involved, that's what they got to do. Coming straight in. Tom Hawks raised. Shut. Artillery's coming in. Here comes the musketry. Shattered immediately. Oh, it's just. Yes. 
so decisive. Let's get my horse artillery to point at the Native American lancers. Let's push up our line a little bit. Give my heart just to go after the, the garrison bows. Get my foot artillery to engage the enemy lancers. Horse artillery just shoot the boat as well. There we go. So you're at point blank range now. You're going to get to no good. My guys are reloading. There we go. As they shuffle around, they're under fire. Break off the attack. The cavalry charging in. Brave heroes. Lance is dipped. Oh no, they got broken. Yeah, horse artillery go after that clump of bowmen. Both my actually everyone's okay right now. Where is that lot you need to do medicine man? Because for now that means all of our artillery is going to engage the garrison native foes. Charge because you're shaken. Let's see if we can upset you. Ooh, garrison native bows. Crank my right line back. Broken. Delicious. Excellent. Shattered, shattered. Cavalry advance towards. New enemies. Now it's to stop popping off shots. Folks, all my artillery fire onto one unit. You men have reloaded. Your colonial lights in here as well. So they can be able to pick them off before they get into range. And when they do get into range, when to range on my muskets, my line up between will be that much more deadly. They get massed artillery fire. I don't like that immediately. Go on, light foot. Give them a volley. Smash the garrison native bows. If we can knock them out, then the Cherokee are finished. Just let my general not go straight in not go in first at least. Bring in some native warriors. Okay, we might be able might have got away with it. Good. Native warriors engage the bows. Charge that gas and bow unit. All my artillery is fired because there's a lot of shells flying around. So they're broken. Charge the bows. Okay, 
charge. Oh, killed the enemy general. Yeah, for a minute there. Break off the attack. Join our empire. Glorious empire. A prosperous empire. A beautiful empire for, the, for a better tomorrow. So this should make them settle down a lot. In theory. So you've retreated. Boop. Okay, one. Okay, you're partially settled down. Okay, so if you go to here. You're angry. It's fine. If you guys move over. You've got a. Kind of a reform, but you don't have a. Ah, meeting hall. Don't need you. But that'll set you up for victory. These things, let's demolish the communal farming. Some of the native buildings you can upgrade and some of them you can't. If you can upgrade them, you may as well leave it because you're going to have to, you can upgrade anyway in future. Um, yes, you men are punishing. So, We're going to need to, well, one one of you guys is going to advance towards Fort Sharta. And I think Nathaniel Green may actually hold here as a bit of a uh, dissuader to stop the French from thinking they can get up to something. Um, but that's so reasonably... Yeah, we go nine thousand nine hundred. Now we're in, now we're getting somewhere. We're trading with the entire world. Come on, Russia, let's trade everybody. Measuring tools, food, no. Russia, we are good Protestants. Request trade, and I'll offer you rights of man. A really good technology. There we go. Excellent. 12,000 a turn. We need to meet up our production of everything. Yeah, Quebec's going to be looking, feeling a bit uncomfortable because they're going to be a huge target of ours. <laughs> yeah, and the Navy. Forgot about the Navy. We're going to definitely need to grow the US Navy. Although for now, I want to solidify what I've got and then rebuild some of my destroyed buildings um, on the continental US and upgrade my inf my economic infrastructure. And the French are fighting the Brits in the Med. It's keeping them tied up. I mean, it'll be, it's a no-brainer to turn on France because they've only got Corsica. There's not a lot they can do to really... Oh yes, and I forgot the Iroquois are attacking Quebec. If they can take Montreal, that would be super handy. Because then we could liberate Montreal from the Iroquois but not give it back to Quebec. Here comes the Marathas. An alliance? No. Nope. Happy to trade. Not interested in allying with you. I've got enough problems of my own right now. I don't need to start inheriting some more. I mean, obviously we will be going to India. But we're going to bring an enormous attack force to bear. So not the Ottomans are going to get to. But it looks like they are going to cause a... I guess to make the end turn phases chug for a bit. So I'm going to chop it here and bring you guys back uh, when things start moving again. Ooh, and we've been offered a deal with Poland. And no, that's a terrible deal. I don't want to be your ally. You're not at war with Russia yet. Well, you're not. At, well, you've only got Warsaw. No, I'm not interested in being your savior right now, Poland. We are not in the right position to do that. Like I said, we want to. <laughs> we got a lot of our, our ship um, was taking on water. Now it's taking on less water. We've a, a, a batch of new materials have arrived to shore up the hole, the holes in the hull. So I think that's what we're going to be doing. Not, uh, we're not going to be the world police for the time being. 
be interested to see where Sweden goes. I suppose they're probably going to attack Copenhagen. Yep, they, well, they landed in Denmark. Right. 11,000 gentlemen in the Carolinas. Let's get him up to New Haven. 11,000. Alliance broken between France and Poland. Woodland Preacher. And, oh, hey, hey, you got some converting to do. So you're 100% Catholic anyway. No, Protestant rather. Okay, right. Go down to Florida. Nation destroyed. Hanover. Workers on strike. Cherokee Territory. First of all, yeah, you guys are going to just replenish. Hey, right. So how are we going to want to do this? Make sure we upgrade the government buildings to increase our repression. Workers on strike in Kentuck Territory, not anymore. New national leader, Denzel Hartley. We had an election. We may well have done. Plus one management, plus one navy. You're my navy guy. Plus one treasury. Oh, that's so happy. <laughs> plus one treasury, plus one manager, minus two treasury. So he is just a four star, a four, yeah, four star minister. Plus one management, plus one justice, plus one management, plus one management. Okay, you're going to be my, well, first of all, my justice guy. If I put you in the justice, you're my justice guy, yeah, huge stars up there. You're good in the treasury. But you might be better in the army. It says boot the treasury minister. Hamlet Smeaton. Good. That's a reasonable balance. Okay. Ready and awaiting orders. So these men. Onward. Okay, this force is going to request. Four batteries of artillery, and that's going to do. That's going to tie them over for now. We're going to want to get trading port in Pensacola. Sugar, coffee. Which ones I want to trade? Either sugar, really. And then here it's cotton or tobacco, and cotton's. Cotton's the, the highest earner, but we have no tobacco production, so I'm going to get tobacco instead, because I love variety. Diversification is the foundation to any portfolio. Get a couple of the government buildings upgraded. Maybe build a church school here to begin converting these regions. I think because you're 100% Protestant, I can demolish Raleigh. They don't need it to be a church school anymore. So, because they, you know, it's generated a priest. So, just get here and get converting. War declared between the, between the Barbary States and the Ottoman Empire. That's weird. Yeah, there was our election. Prepare the farm. Cool. But yeah, for the time being, everyone's just... Uh, well, actually, what we can do is try and save a bit of money. Wait, oh, you're full. By uh, condensing some of our infantry units and combining... Well, actually, there we go. I can, short, I can poach some troops from here. Marcus. Plus an artillery battery and instead recruit a unit of cuirassier. Then you're going to be ready to rock and roll. Smash Cayuga. You're in good health. Five turns till we get wealth of nations. Although we could very much do with... I mean, I might, I think I might just, I don't want to wait to get a modern university, so I am going to demolish this industry building and rebuild it in Dover when the time comes. Yeah, you're going to get a national observatory, you're going to get a uh, national observatory when that happens. Uh, trade port. Cool.
Now we're going to really catapult forward. The south is secure. We can start rolling in on the north. Oh, it comes a <gasps> the Quebec force is near Cayuga. We, we have to jump on it and take it, lest they think they can do it. We do not want to give Quebec a foothold south of the Niagara River. I mean, it's interesting that the Barbary states are all the Ottomans. Does that mean the Ottomans are going to advance across North Africa? At least that's different. I mean, Europe is just a bit of a... a bit of a mess, anyway. <laughs> There's just... Yeah. There's a lot of carnage. And that's good for me, because it means that no European powers start to mass and focus on taking me out. So, Prussia is... Oh, everyone's, everyone's picking on the Barbary States. They've damaged the garrison trying to fight the Quebec forces. What if you headed my way? <laughs> You're crying. We can't beat the we can't beat Quebec. Let's get out of here. And the Marath uh, the Mughals are trying to desperately defend their empire from a British raiding force. They didn't manage to do it. Could the Ottomans have given away part of their territory? <gasps> France has rebelled against the United Provinces. They are now a proper country again. Well, there we go. That's something. At least our ally to the south is okay. And the Ottomans are going to bog down again. So, see you in a second, everyone. There we go. And we are back off to the races. Still a large number of factions, really. Normally they do start to trim down, but the longer the game goes on, we will start to see uh, a number of dominant European superpowers. 10,000, we have a, a rake. So let's send a rake up to Montreal. Yes, yeah, so you've advanced towards us here in Albany. Some god awful reason. We cannot drive straight towards Cayuga because we're not within range. Um, right, 10,000. Let's do let's get a road building investment program. Let's get everyone up to the same standard at least. Waiting for your orders. Yeah, you're still very unhappy. But you, okay, Kane Tuck Territory is okay, Chikasa is okay, you men advance towards Fort Shata. So ports are being built. Okay, Richmond, get a craft workshop. Harrisburg, get a university. So what have you got? Let's deposit some cavalry over to Albany. They can attack Igushawa. Well, they might auto that, to be honest. <laughs> I, I, I discounted the fact they were uh, they were um, depleted. So my cavalry, so you, Anthony Wayne, advance on Cayuga. And my cavalry will join up with the force again. You men fall back to Albany. Let's build a tenanted farm. Should this gentleman take position at Harrisburg? Ready. New port emerges at Georgetown. Didn't get around to upgrading that. 8,300 because lots of our trade is being disrupted. Okay, everyone's up and ready. Sir. You want to attack Port Shatter. Four turns till anything happens. Recruitment report. Norway has risen. Norway. Want to trade, Norway? Ah, oh, can't trade. Persia. Want to trade? First of all, major nations. France. We can trade again. Oh, joy. Oh, glorious day. 
Okay, that'll be it. Cool. Doesn't get as much money because their ports are blockaded. There we go. Right, right, right. So if they don't take it, if they don't take the city, then we will try. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna head west towards Charter. You may stay here and just kind of a bit of a be a bit of a uh, dissuader from the French. But you're gonna go west then north. Although you may actually you may end up going west and then far west out to Yankton. Secure that sooner rather than later. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. of movements around Quebec. Okay, they decided they just don't want to... Okay, they don't want to attack the city? Fair enough. Yeah, but I'm going to make a note on how far through the recording I am. I don't really know. I think I'm 38 plus 6 plus... 44 plus whatever's on now. Yeah, <laughs> so 48, 49, 50-ish, maybe. Hmm. Um... Yeah, it's been a good, it's been a good episode, I think. We made some good progress. We're back on our feet, and I think now if I manage this correctly, we are just going to catapult into the stratosphere. But I do want to upgrade my, I keep banging on about my economy, but as you see, you know, the USA, we make a lot of money through trade. But if our trade partners ports are blocked, there is there is nothing we can do about it unless we uh, go to war against the nations doing the blockading, which is tricky for the most part because we're not gonna get in, we're not gonna have the opportunity. Well, we're not gonna want to get into any major ones, too many major wars at the moment. We want to build up our navy, just make our overall position a bit more solid. Um, but it's the classic. Ottoman behaviour for the time being. So see you guys in a second. And we are off again. Still more terrible offers. No. No, 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 no. Need to, I need to make sure I develop my military infrastructure as well, so I can build, you know, like the US Marines and all these other cool units. Yeah, the new Norwegian state. 8,700. Pensacola. Get a sloop. No, oh, no, 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 I'm dumb. Yorktown was a military port. Okay, so you. I'm not even going to come and help. I mean, we are going to attack them, for sure. I mean, we are going to do that this episode. Um, I just want to make sure I'm hitting all the right notes first. Marks. Oh, you. Where's my rake? Get down here and... Might have to... Re-kill him. Okay, in which case then there's no point in keeping you here. Let's get you up to Chikasa. I must pray a while. Although if it's only going to take three I'm turns to convert them... Yeah, this church school is a bit of a bust as well. That's real fast. Okay, let's upgrade an iron workshops. Let's get I might just get the state house upgraded because then it's just done. Five turns. Take a while. Well then let's take Anthony Wayne and attack Cayuga. The Cherokee have taken a pounding. Now it's time for the Iroquois to do the same. Push, push, push. Maintain the attack. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But yeah, it was a bit daft of me building 
that you trade port in Yorktown, because now I just have to rebuild it as a military port. But that's not the end of the world. Okay. Foot artillery. My howitzers. One division of infantry. Go on the, go on the, the left. One division. Go on the right. A couple of units going straight in the middle with some skirmishes. And then I got my heavy cavalry on either flank. Oh, hello. Advance up towards the road. Make sure the howitzers are shooting at different units. He lost a couple of fellows. Okay, let's try and run you guys into position. Another unit of armed tribes been advancing. Come on, 16th Regiment, get loading. Broken those units. Advance up towards their holy ground. Oh, not so fast. Push up and maintain our our broadly maintain our spacing. I know they're gonna get into combat. If you, if you guys if, if you guys got one up the spout. Counter charge. We've chased off one armed tribesman unit, it's another garrison native warrior unit. That we've surrounded the armed tribesmen. Excellent. Let's take advantage of the chaos and advance. Bring my cuirassiers in. Demon format. Foot artillery engage. The medicine men. Houses engage some of these units. Bowmen. There you go. Medicine men are advancing through the town towards my skirmishes, so if that something can happen there. Gun one down as they reach through the ran through the gap. Now they're under fire. Oh they made they were so close to the delicious skirmishes. Comes in here, that's shattered them. My infantry are going to obliterate my. Let's not take you. You men get up here and secure the high ground on their flank. 
these guys are all shattered, so just get over here and hold. Advance the infantry into their sacred land. Push my cursier up. These cursier go after the native warriors. So they're looking to try and disrupt our plans. And my heavy cavalry is just going to cut them into ribbons. Close support of the garrison bowmen. Garcier got the lances. You've not broken those warrior unit, that warrior unit. These men are going to be given orders to push, push on, push on. Those musket men killed a bunch of my guys, but they did also shatter their infantry. Now my infantry can push through the town. Although we've got their general unit under attack. So everyone except for these musketmen is routing. And it looks like victory is ours. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. How about you? Still holding on bravely. There we go. Now they've broken. They're routing through our. Uh, our lines. Big mistake. Awesome. Heroic victory indeed. That is the Iroquois <laughs> capital secured. Demolish. Demolish the farm. Demolish the meeting hall. Excellent. Now what are you going to do? Now you're in trouble. Cavalry push up. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, but looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. And this has gone really well. So we've knocked out, knocked out the Cherokee and the Iroquois are now in quite serious trouble um, from both directions. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the United States. Cheers, everyone.